Like Crawford's counter punch and Spence's pressure, man. I like both of them. I'm saying Crawford, Crawford, Crawford's counter punch should be good early, but Spence's pressure is going to be good late. So, like I said, it's a 50 50. It's who can dominate the most in their time. The early time should belong to Crawford. The late time should belong to Spence. So, who can dominate the most in their time is going to be who wins the fight. Well, you, think, you think the best fight, the best one to start for these guys, and who's like starting with Javante and uh, Kevin Garcia? You got these guys fighting. Of course it has to because let me ask you a question. How can you stay at the top of the pound for pound list if you're not fighting the next best pound for pound fight of your weight class? You can't be on the list like that. So if you're gonna fight the best, then why are you doing it? Now it's getting back to Roy Jones day. If you're down there, bring it. If it ends in knockout, who's more likely to get the knockout? I'm a trainer, I'm a trainer, but uh, either one of them can win my knockout. If, if Errol win my knockout, though, it'll be late, I think, in my opinion. If Terrence can win at any time by knockout, because Terrence is a different type of fighter, he's explosive, whereas Earl is a pressure fighter. You know, pressure means you start now, but you benefit later. So you don't expect a pressure fighter to get an early knockout. You understand me? But late he could, not early. What the first option is to win in your opinion? Earl has to put the pressure on early, then to the body early, to wear him down, so that his pressure can be effective late. Terrence has to get an early jump on Earl, and our boxer will try to cut him up a little bit early, so he won't be good to pressure later. Who's the best pound for pound, Roy? The winner of this fight or a new way? Huh? Who's the best pound pound, a new way or the winner of Saturday? The winner of this fight is the best pound pound right now, but a new way ain't far behind him. It's a very close touch. Is this fight going to distance? Is this fight going to distance? I don't think so. I don't think so. A new way to it, Roy Jones shit. He did three left, four left. You better believe it. You better believe it. But on the day for him is he don't have opposition like these two guys. These two guys are here and here. This is what we've been missing in boxing at the right time. If anyway don't have that person right now. This guy was good, but not a lot of people know folks. You understand me? Everybody in boxing knows both of these. Is it insane to ask him to go to 35 for tank? Is that insane? That's no, that's not insane. I say. I would the heck way out that insane. From, from junior middleweight, junior middleweight. Yeah. 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 Terrence wins this fight, comes two division undisputed four belt champion. When after you, would you rank him all time in non heavyweight? Where would you rank him? Yeah, he pretty far up there. He pretty far up there. Very close. Very, very close. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mike.